Alright, hello, my name is Paul and this is Mr. Nightingale. Mr. Nightingale is 59 years old, comes to us today with a diagnosis of progressive weakness in this leg with some osteoarthritis in the right knee. Um, interestingly enough, when he's evaluated today, we find some, uh, some other neurological uh, signs and symptoms that kind of raise a red flag and indicate to us that we uh, probably need to uh, look into this a little bit deeper. Back in 2001, he underwent a cervical spine surgery for severe stenosis at C5, C6 and had a fusion. Um, and recently has noticed this progressive weakness in his, uh, in his leg. So I'm not going to go through uh, much more history than that, but I will show you some of the physical findings that we've had. All right? So I'm going to start off with his reflexes first. And we're going to go upper for now, and then we're going to work to the more significant areas. So C7, that's a 3+, plus, quite hyperreflexive. C5, C6, so all about 3+, plus, equal to this side. And then we're going to check his L4 on the left side. Quite hyperreflexive. S1. Okay, now we'll we'll be careful on this side. Okay, so L4. Okay, and look, we have some clonus in the leg. We can stop it by pushing on the Golgi tendon organ just above the knee. That's a significant sign of some sort of myelopathy going on or upper motor neuron lesion. So what we'll do here is we'll gently dorsiflex him. We'll check his S1 and it actually activates his L4. He's so hyperreflexive. He's unable to dorsiflex the big toe. He's unable to dorsiflex the foot against the tone there. And his inversion and eversion are about 2 plus over 5. Another very interesting finding, and we'll zoom in on this one, is that he has a very positive Hoffman's test. So I'd like you to relax your hand. Okay. And what you do here is you hold the middle finger, you flick it, and observe the thumb and the index finger coming together. So that's kind of like the Babinski of the upper extremity. The same thing happens on this side. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, we need to be somewhat suspicious that he is getting uh, more cord compression and my, my thought is that it's in the cervical spine because he's having the positive Hoffman's here, the hyperreflexia here, hyperreflexiveness down here, and uh, also on this side has a positive Babinski sign. The toes splay right out, they don't curl down. Um, so we are going to consult with the patient's uh, PCP and uh, possibly with a neurosurgeon, see what the thoughts are in regards to further diagnostic testing, which in my opinion would probably be uh, an MRI and um, also uh, maybe an EMG. Thanks.